Hello and welcome to Sullivan's Farm. We're slowly sliding from autumn into winter at the moment here. All the calves and the cattle are still outside, but they're being fed outside now as well. Stretches out the grass a little bit, but it also keeps the, the dry matter or the fibre or something higher in their diet anyway. But look at everything's kind of on the, the back foot. There's a little bit of organising to do first. It's been bothering me with a while and I was avoiding it because I didn't really know how to do it. But what I wanted to do was to convert this old IBC water tank into a feeder, a covered feeder, so I could give straw or hay to the calves outside in the field. But I have one hole cut out using this implement. Safety goggles and earmuffs, obviously. And yeah, there's the first hole. So I need to get into the corners to cut out that bit. All right, but all I did was just cut out those bars from the back here, make that space. There's going to be two holes. It's one of those, well, two of those done. Sorry, I'm ahead of myself. Two of them done on this side too. Again, just need to get into the corners um, on both of them. There'll be one at the front, two on the other side, so that's what we'll be able to feed six at a time. And I guess the big thing is, if this works, I'll get another one of those or maybe two more of those. And then there'll be plenty of space outside for more than six calves to feed at one time. And the straw and the hay will stay dry and the farmer will sleep a little bit easier. But we'll tear into another bit of it now anyway. <laughs> Right, so we have the windows cut out. I just need to cut those off with a hacksaw. Those in the corners, although they're they're nice and neat little windows, if windows was your thing, but I'm gonna cut them out anyway, in case any cave's head gets caught in it. Now, I've got a nice bit of advice from boards.ie as well, a couple of posters on there, about how to make sure the cave's heads don't get stuck in it. So, I think this is very much a work in progress, and there may be changes made to the design after the first trial run of it. But we'll see how it goes. The big question now is the roof and how to slice or cut the top of the roof off or keep it waterproof while also making it easy to throw the straw in. So let the camera out of my hand and get the angle grinder again. Really disappointed. The only one that's Oh, for God's sake. Who are you playing? Yeah, I'm playing on... Um, Fade Lake. Ah, oh, jeepers. So you were really on fire. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, the window's cut out. You see straight run out the other side. So yeah, I'm impressed so far myself anyway, if I may say so. Yeah, out the front. So there's six holes all the way around. So. Now that we're getting to let the dog see the rabbit, one thing I have noticed is that the bit of rain last night meant there's water lodging in it. So I might end up drilling holes into the bottom of it there. So if there is any water gets in, it'll run out again rather than lodging in it. What I think I'm going to do is just cut around there. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to cut exactly on that line, so I need to give me a rough idea of where we're going. Uh, so we'll give that a lash and take it from there. Right, we've done a bit of cutting, try to avoid the wind here, and this is we can see it from here. No handle on it yet, but it opens up just like that. So there's room to put the straw or the hay in. And what I did was just cut around by the edge, the whole way around. No, oh, sorry, not the whole way around. Stopped here. So this is our hinge. Same on this side. Again, not very neat and tidy, but there's our hinge. And then there's a couple of bars from that hole to that hole over there and then through this eye here and that'll hold it in place so i think i hope anyway we're ready we're ready to try 
our first design we'll see after that we might need to buy a second ibc tank to have the second version but we're going to try this one anyway if we can get the sun out of my eyes i'm back in the shed again and i'm going to give it a wash out because there's a bit of the old plastic in that gone into it I've cut a few fairly gammy looking slashes and holes in the bottom of it to let the rain drip out with the angle grinder. We'll see how it goes. So these are the, the bears I was talking about. This one slides across in underneath it there. If I can turn it and squeeze it in. So straightforward. Ah. And that goes in there and there's just a little screw that holds it on that side. And another one holds it here. I wanted to wash out the little bits of plastic anyway for fear any animal would ingest it. But putting the water in also meant I checked to see that the thing was leaking or, or the water wasn't congealing or gathering in one corner. So it was a bit of a test for that too. And as you can see, it is gathering there. So we just need to drill a few more holes. Like the ship in the harbour, the safest place for that now is where it is. But again, like the ship in the harbour, that's not what it was built for. So I'm going to bring it out with the bale handler on the back of the tractor. We'll put a bale of straw into it and we'll see what the calves think. We might be bringing it back in as quick, but we'll try it as is for now anyway. I'll tie it on now, so. Right, so we use the bear that holds down the lid to hold up the lid too. And just dump the bale in. Then we see, so are they. They seem to be picking away at it. I'm not mad about it, but then it has been dry the last couple of days. We'll see how it goes. As ever, we're going to react to whatever the animals do and go from there. They're the boss around here. Cutting the bale and getting the straw into it now wasn't perfect, but it'll be easier the next time. We'll get better at it. We'll get the technique down for the couple of days that it's needed. As well as feeding the calves outside, there's also a bit of this carry on going on for the store cattle as well. That's their second bale. I gave them the first bale there the other morning and they were very happy with it. So they were. The grass is still, I won't say plentiful, we're getting through it, but it's wet and it is getting a little bit scarce. And I'm away for a few days next week. So I have a plan for where the cattle and the calves will be while I'm away and I'm working back from that. So I just needed to slow them down a small bit. So I gave him a bale from the summer of 2022. I still have about 15 or 16 of them left in there the other morning. And um, yeah, there's a hole in the odd bale, but I'll show you this. Go on off that, you. This is what was left from the 2022 bale. So we'll assume they're okay with that. There they are. Happy out. No fear of her. Put a weight on her so she's what? We used to be at that at the green cert and sure none of us had a bull's notion. You'd want to be looking at him every day and then some before you'd have any idea where you could, you could or I would anyway, where before you could guess him. But I'm going to put her at him. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's not a bullock. 460, 70 kgs maybe. We won't show you that one. <laughs> There's the odd little one like that around there still. All right, so we'll show you this. She's one of the smallest. Apart from the, there's a whitehead one there someplace, but she's one with that whitehead one that was the last to come off milk as calves. Or they, they were off milk and I put them back on milk for another month to give them a hand or, or to give them a bit of a boost. And she's all right, but she never thrived as well as the rest of them, but she's okay. Just take her a little bit longer and the margin will be just a little bit tighter on her when she eventually goes up the ramp. So it's raining now, so I'm going to go in out of that shower, bring in this new bike as well. Well, it's not a new bike. Jeez, I hope, I hope he's not watching. The young lad took the mountain bike I have, so I had to take a loan of this one, which you can probably guess cost a lot more money 
than the mountain bike. Now we leave the expensive bikes aside for one minute. I was coming over here to fix a water truck that I thought was leaking. But I think we've had a bit of luck and it seems to have fixed itself or maybe it wasn't leaking. There was just all the rain started flowing out over the side but I had a feeling the ball cock wasn't coming up close enough the tap early enough but it seems to be okay. So on that good note we leave it at that for this week. Thanks a million for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck.